welcome to one crore projects today we will discuss about the project title is upi fraud detection using machine learning and flask framework first i will see the flask framework then after that i will uh, see the backend file like jupyter so we will go to how to run the project so copy this uh, folder file path like your um, project file path after that open the anaconda prompt like type this line cd space copied path once you combine the path in your anaconda prompt then after that type this line python app.py so there is a running command on your web application once you give the line it will return automatically uh, give one link like uh, http slash dash etc so once you copy this link then paste on your browser so there is a web page for uh, upi fraud detection so there is the input field then there's the predict button so we will check the two values like uh, fraud values and valid values first i will check one uh, fraud values like uh, i just copy the random fraud value then paste on your browser after that uh, give the predict button so validation completed it will return validation completed according to our model this transaction is fraud transaction then after that i will we will um, check the valid values there is a valid values about our project so we can uh, copy just any row so reset my prediction just copy on your this field then click the predict button so validation completed according to our model uh, that provided transaction is not a fraud transaction there is a web application we have then after that i will say uh, backend file like jupyter okay. open ml folder here we can see the uh, ipvnb file and um, upa fraud data set so open this file click, uh, open vs code i will open vs code editor So there is a up fraud detection ipvnb file here we can some um, here we can see some imported packages we have to implement it in this project then uh, there are the tips tips we have used to implement this project like the first step is data collection and then data pre-processing and eda concepts and uh, train and split the data then model implementation uh, here we can see the uh, algorithms like random forest auto boost cat boost and uh, xg boost and light B gbm there are the algorithms we have used to in this project so here we can see the ipvnb file about the up fraud detection here some plots so that part we have to use uh, like matplotlib matplotlib is mostly used to do um, used to um, visual the data data visualization so here we can see the confusion matrix about the project title sorry uh, about the uh, data set then we can see some plots then after that we can see the random forest classifier so random forest classifier will give
Then after that, here we can see the confusion matrix about the random forest classifier. Then uh, this algorithm will return 85.28 percentages of accuracy in our uh, data set. Then Adobe's classifier algorithm. Uh, here we can see the confusion matrix about the Adobe's classifier algorithm. Then uh, it will return 83.3 uh, to accuracy percentages of accuracy. Then um, after that, Catboot Catboot classifier. So there is a confusion matrix about the Catboot classifier. Then it will return uh, eighty-three point three two accuracy. Then after that, the XGBoost algorithm. Here we can see the plot about the data set. Then final. Um, then before we can see uh, eighty-seven point six six percentages of accuracy about the uh, XGBoost classifier. Then after that we can see the um, light GBM algorithm. accuracy so that is the project we have thank you for watching